Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGM007, and today we look at the Ultimate Timber plugin. So this is a really fantastic plugin which adds different animations for cutting down trees. The config file has a ton of stuff that you can edit and customize, which is really cool. And overall, it's a really well made and awesome plugin. So the main feature is the different animations. So when you cut down a tree, just like in real life, if you cut down the middle bit, the top bit is going to fall over. So if I cut down the bottom block here, the rest is going to follow suit and just fall on the ground and be destroyed. And then obviously we could pick up the item. So this is the first animation. This is called the fancy animation. And it kind of just shrinks a bit towards the middle and then just collapses to the floor. So this is the first one that we can have. This is the one we have by default. And then we are going to show you the other ones. Now you might notice that we got a golden apple here. This is because you can set custom drops as well for this plugin. And it also replants the sapling as well, which is fantastic. So that is number one. Let's go ahead and do forward slash ut reload. That is going to obviously reload the config file where we've made the change to the disintegrate style. So if we have a look at this, it is going to disintegrate block by block. And this one's pretty cool as well. If we choose this massive tree, it zips up and all the blocks start disintegrating and falling to the ground. And then we can obviously pick them up. So this animation is pretty cool. I really like this one. Um, I think they're really well made and they're just fantastic. And then next we have the crumble animation. So if we go ahead and use this, you can see the tree just kind of crumbles to the ground. Like so, it's pretty straightforward. I think this is probably my favorite. I really like this one. And obviously you can choose whichever one you want for your server. Finally, if we do UT reload again, I've changed the config for a fourth time. And this one is going to be none. So there is no animation. The tree just goes poof and disappears into thin air and all the items will drop and the sapling is replanted. So that's kind of what it looks like in game with all the different animations. We are now going to hop over to the config file and see what sorts of things we can edit in there. So here we are on the SM Picnic control panel and as you can see there's a locals folder and in here we're going to see all the different languages. There's loads you can choose from which is really awesome. But let's go ahead and jump back into the config file. So the config file is actually pretty big. If we scroll down to the bottom there's about 460 lines which is pretty ridiculous but this plugin has a load of different options and we're going to go through the most important ones. Up at the top we've got the server type so current leave that how it is or you will have issues. Do not change it. Then local, so this is the language, so it's set to English at the moment. You can obviously change that to whatever your server is. Then we've got the disabled world, so you probably don't want this plugin in creative to work, for example. So you just put creative worlds there or nether, anything like that. We've got the max amount of logs that will be destroyed per chop. So if you've got a tree bigger than this, um, I'd be asking questions, but this will stop lag or uh, the server from overloading, which is good. Then you've got five leaves required for something to be a tree. If not, it's not gonna work. When you chop down a tree, do you want the leaves to be left there or do you want them to be destroyed, yes or no? The realistic tool damage, so this is pretty awesome. So imagine you've got a big tree with maybe 10 pieces of wood and 20 leaves. It's going to give you the damage that it would be if you manually destroyed everything. Do you want to allow it in creative mode? Do you want to require permission? Do you want there to be a cooldown? And then should we ignore required tools, for example? So do you need to require an axe, yes or no? Then we've got replant saplings, which is really cool. Uh, loads of people don't ever replant their trees once they chop them down, so this does it automatically. If we scroll down a bit more, we've got the replant saplings cooldown, and then we've got various things to do with falling block damage, and you want the items to automatically be added to the inventory instead of dropping. You can use custom sounds and particles, which is pretty cool. And then we've got the bonus loot multiplier as well, as two. Then if we scroll down a bit more, we've got the tree configuration. So this lists all the different trees. So we've got oak, we've got spruce, birch, jungle, acacia. And what it lists here is the different logs and leaves. And then it's got uh, the max distance from the trunk and the max leaf distance from the log. And then it's got some other information here. And then obviously the leaf loot as well and chant. So you don't really need to edit this. This is all fine at the moment. We've also got apples. So you can edit the chance to get an apple from the tree. And then we've also got mushroom trees as well. If we go back up to line 173, that is probably the most important line that we need to see, and that is the animation. So as we saw in game, there are four different types. There's fancy disintegrate, crumble, 
and none. So the last one we showed you was none. I like crumble, so we could obviously just give this a copy and paste it in there and then reload. And that's gonna change the animation type. If we head over to Songoda, so this is um, made by Songoda actually, it's a free plugin you can download. Typically this uh, website has premium plugins, but this one is free. You can see all the different animations here, which is really awesome. So do you want auto pickup, yes or no? And you can just choose which animation you want. There's documentation, support and discord if you have any issues or comments, concerns, etc. But this is where you can download it from over here on the left. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.